My name is Parker Geely. I'm a producer, I'm an artist, and I'm signed to Nicki Minaj. My parents are African. I am from London, born in London. I started getting into producing in 1999. I wanted to be a rapper, and no one wanted to produce for me, so I thought, let me start making my own beats, and that's how we got into it. Working all day, girl, you gotta make a living. Loving when you're talking, girl, I love you cause you listen. Baby, now I promise I'll do everything you did. I don't remember the first track I made, but I do remember the first track that I made that anybody cared about, and that was Oopsie Daisy for the chip, and that did pretty well over here in the UK, and that was kind of like the start of everything. From there, we got a lot of opportunities to work with more artists, and that's how things like the the Jesse J project came along and we did Sugar Babes and did End Dubs and did a whole bunch of stuff over the next few years. Those were like the most important years of my life. It gave me a chance to really watch a lot of artists and pick up things and just sit back and just humble myself and humble my talent as an artist and just be this producer and just try and make everyone else better as opposed to focusing on myself. The biggest success was working with both Rihanna and Nicki Minaj and the projects coming out on the same day. I think that was the, the big aspect of it. Nicki is probably the most exciting thing I'm working on now. She's got the third album coming. She's very versatile and she's probably the most amazing person to work with because she just lets you be yourself. I said I was rapping and then I started producing because no one made me beats. So it got to the point where maybe I should just start writing my own songs. And so I started writing these songs and then people were like, oh, these songs are pretty cool. I was like, okay, let me try and do this, this thing. You better tuck her in, it's going down tonight. I tried to make music for the people around me at the same time, I make music for myself. I don't ever try to make music to fit in with other people or other crowds. My songs are always about love, and whether that be a love of what you're doing, what you've done, or a love of money, or a love of a girl, or a situation is always seems to be about the love of something or the absence of love. Generally speaking, my songs are always like love songs. I try not to make them like just straightforward. I try to add like poetic value. Obviously we have songs like So Beautiful where it's more like just telling you a situation and it's kind of just straightforward, so beautiful. But there are songs which are like not so straightforward and not so in your face about what the song is about. Yes, it's African music, but it covers a vast range of things and a vast range of sounds and genres and moods and environments as well. If I have to put a name to it, I'd say it's progressive Afro pop, something that's very rhythmic and very kind of worldly. And that's where like the progressive aspect of it comes to, like, comes to play because musically it's just, it keeps changing. The pop element, I'd say, comes in the, the lyrics and the structures of the song. I guess like my character and my voice and the, the rhythms that we, that we tend to hear in my music, I think that's where like the African and the Afro kind of element comes into it. Most of the people that inspire me are not like really at the peak of their careers. Fella is probably a direct, like you can listen to the music and see the performances and you can kind of feel like a direct influence. Sting is a huge influence, the police. I listen to their music more or less every day. Bon Iver is probably like the only active artist right now. And there's a bunch of people like I appreciate and I like elements of what they do. So What's up everyone, it's Park Gilly and you're watching Channel O. I hope you enjoyed my interview and I'll see you again real soon.